Hey, Jared here. I just want a quick real talk real quick about food rules because you might have a crazy rule saying like, I can't have carbs after 8 p.m. at night or I can't eat at night. I just heard someone say this the other day. A woman was sitting on a couch and she just nonchalantly said, this was over Thanksgiving, you know what? I really shouldn't um, have any more food. It's after 8. If I eat after 8, I'm going to get fat. So let's break down that rule. There's, it's a black and white rule. If I eat past eight, then I will get fat. And the definition of a food rule is a black and white rule. A do this, do that, and this thing will happen. Very specific and very, um, very the stakes are very, very high. So it's really, really important that you can become aware of your own food rules because when the stakes are high and you mess up, then your inner critic, your inner sense of failure and shame can easily rear its head and knock you off your course. So this woman, I'm going to go a hypothetical now right here. Let's say she eats at 8.01 p.m. And because the stakes are so high, she's now going to get fat, right? That's what her rule is. If she eats past eight, she's going to get fat. So her stakes are so high that since she was one minute off, she broke her rule. Then her sense of failure, her internalized sense of failure can then say to, can then, um, start talking to her like her voice of shame can then start saying oh you broke your rule you're a failure everything you always do is fail you suck you're not worthy of a partner you're a terrible person you know have you ever been there you ever break one of your food rules maybe it's you shouldn't eat carbs during the day maybe it's you need to wake up early maybe it's you need to have breakfast in the morning maybe it's something else but either way, it's a very specific rule, and the result of it, if you don't do the rule, is something bad is going to happen. You're a bad person. It means you're lazy. It means uh, you don't deserve happiness. It means you're. this is another sign that you're a complete and utter failure. So these food rules, what you can do is just write them out. Write some of your own food rules down. It might take you a little bit of a brainstorm to get all these food rules out on paper. But what you want to do is become aware of them because this woman, as I saw her sit on the couch and mentioned this thing about eating past eight, I could tell it was totally unconscious. It was just an offhand remark. Oh my God, if I, if I eat past eight and then, you know, I'm going to get fat and I'm, and I'm taking this, I'm blowing this out of proportion a little bit to make a point, but I hear so many people beat themselves up because they had fast food one time. And they're tripping, they're, they're lacerating, like lacerating their inner voice. Their inner voice has now just gone on a rampage. You suck. You're not a good person. And when you think about it, the stakes are so high for a little food roll. The stakes, this voice that comes out, this voice that gets permission, right? When you have a food roll that's very specific and you break it, then... Uh, the, the, the little inner shame voice that says, oh my God, I can start talking now because you broke your food rule. And what happens is, is, you know, that sense of shame comes out and it's over the tiniest things like a minute after eight or one burger at a fast food place. You know, it's, it's when you actually pause and think about some of these rules that you have, what you're going to notice is, wow, maybe it's not true. And the key, the one technique I want to share with you today is adding for the most part onto your food rules. So you don't even have to change your food rule, right? Like even the woman who thinks it's 8 p.m. or you can't eat after 8. When you add on for the most part, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So instead of automatically lacerating yourself and failing and seeing this as another sign of your failure and your worthlessness, this now, um, when you say for the most part, it gives you some, some wiggle room. 
So when your food rules, the food rule could be, I will not eat after 8 p.m. for the most part, because there's gonna be times when I'm out of the movie theaters, I'm with friends, whatever, it's not appropriate for me to not eat, whatever. Um, now, I'm not even gonna go into whether or not that food rule is even true or false or even, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to get you to change your beliefs, at least in this video. You can check out some of my other videos that um, where, I, where I do make a more concerted effort to get you to really question and challenge and reframe your beliefs. But today we're just doing a little bit of a reframe for the most part. Take a food rule. You can come up with one right now. I know that one of mine is I got to get more veggies. Veggies are healthy. Now I know that's black and white thinking and I know that I fall for it for myself. Um, and sometimes like I'll be honest, earlier today I had some, I had some rhesus, okay? And I was in a kind of a sad mood. And all of a sudden I found myself holding rhesus. I had actually gotten some, long story, I had gotten some in my backpack. It was a long time ago. And, and I was searching through my backpack. For, I, was, I was looking for like a battery or something. And I was feeling kind of sad and depressed. And all of a sudden there's these rhesus in my backpack from a while ago. And all of a sudden it's in my mouth. And that goes kind of against my food rule. Um... And I immediately start to think about this lesson today because I, at first I want to share with you that we all have food rules. Normally we, re we can intellectually realize, um, oh God, these food rules are driving me freaking nuts, right? But these food rules oftentimes are subconscious and we aren't, we don't even know about them until we're in the situation or that we um, actually sit down and think about it. Like today, I, I kind of found out that I had a food rule that I should not eat rhesus and I should have more vegetables in my diet because I was eating a, eating these rhesus and I was like, this is not good. This is not good. Um, but here's the key. Here's the key. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Like, I'm going to go have some vegetables. I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables. I've been wanting to incorporate more vegetables, not trying. I'm not on some diet where I'm trying to get more vegetables in my diet. No, I want to get more vegetables in my diet because it feels good. And that's the way to think about it. It feels good. And so with this, this rhesus thing, I said, oh God, man, I was tired. I was depressed. And, you know, and I happened to find some rhesus that I f didn't even know were there. And they're in my mouth now. And I, don't, and I could feel myself as I was eating the rhesus rubbing up against one of my food rolls, which I didn't even know I had. I could just feel that I was really resisting this and, and kind of my inner shame voice was coming out. It was saying, uh, it was saying, you know, Oh, Jared, you're eating that rhesus. You have no willpower. You should have gone on a walk. You should have, you should have, you know, taken a break earlier. And I could feel that shame voice coming up. And so that whenever you hear a shame voice, that's a sign that you are, um, you're, um, what's it called? You're, you're breaking a food rule because a food rule, you know, if it's for the most part, right, have, don't have rhesus for the most part. If that's your food rule, then the shame voice just doesn't, um, get automatically triggered when, when you break the rule. So I'm trying to make my new food rule. Um, I won't have rhesus for the most part, you know, rhesus peanut butter cups. I won't have Reese's for the most part. And, um, and you know, I'm not beating myself up. I, I mean, sometimes people make the smallest mistakes and their self-criticism goes on and on and on for a long time. And the, the, let's say I do eat this Reese's, right? It's like, it's like a couple hundred calories. And it's like, okay, even if I made a mistake, even if, even if I did make a mistake, and I'm not even saying I did, even if I did make a mistake, it's like, it's like so small. Does really derailing the rest of my day and the rest of my workflow and the rest of the conversations and, and even this video, by the way, I walked, so after I ate those Reese's, I, I could feel I was in this lethargic state and you know, I, I, I wanted to honor and acknowledge my emotions. So I went on a walk. And it took me about a half hour of just walking around um, before I could finally feel settled. And and then I kind of re-clarified some things. I allowed some emotions to be felt and acknowledged and heard and, and so forth. And when I came back, I, I, I was actually inspired to do this video or this podcast, if you're listening to it. Um, 
and talk about food rules because I just bumped up into one of mine and I could feel that shame voice coming out. And, um, and yeah, that's all I got right now. So, um, uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Jared underscore Levinson. Instagram at uh, weight, lo weight underscore loss underscore enlightenment. That's my business, and I got a personal at Jared underscore Levinson. Um, podcast, weight loss, enlightenment. What else we got going on? Um, yeah, I got a workshop coming up if you're in the area on Sunday. So Santa Clara, San Jose area. If you're in, if you're in town and want to stop by, it's going to be really, really fun. And um, with that being said, have a blast. Let me know if there's any questions, unanswered questions, and so forth. Go free and share this. Share this if you like it. All right, rock on.